everyone, I'm Gucci Westman, and today I'm super excited to be meeting with my really good friend, Poppy Delevingne. She's a wonderful actress and gorgeous model, and now she's co-founder of Delevite Prosecco. Hi, Poppy. I don't remember, when did we meet? Oh, how about Barbados? Oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's because, oh, hello, <laughs> on the beach. Ah. Yeah. On the beach, on Gibbs Beach in oh Barbados. Yeah. Pina colada in hand. How's your oh summer? My love, it's been all right. I went off to the Cannes Film Festival and ended up staying out of the country, out of England until a few days ago. So I did a bit of a beefer. Uh -huh. um, that, was, that was fun. That took a minute to get over. You're like Poppy Bond. But you know what? My hair's basically been green. Have you ever heard that trick that you can wash your hair with tomato ketchup and it stops the chlorine? Oh, really? It's like when that's what you do with dogs when they get skunked. R really? Like Rayo <laughs> tomato sauce. Arabiata. Arabiata. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you've been busy. I'm starting a film at the end of September. It's a biopic. It's based on um, a sort of gangster called John Binden. But it's all 60s, 70s glam costume, which I know you love. 60s, 70s, babe, yes. at, like you are. Yes, well, exactly. You know, I always feel like I am that um, inside. <laughs> so we'll be experimenting, like all the different like looks and lashes and mad hair and really short hemlines. So this is super exciting. We're trying Poppy's new Prosecco line. It's so amazing that you did this. Have and you tried it yet? No, because I'm, I'm waiting to open it with you. Are you kidding? My cork is really excited to come out. It's coming. And I bet you it goes all over me. So I'm gonna... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Has it gone all over you? <laughs> Oh, what were we thinking? Well, listen, now I'm, I'm oh. definitely ready to go. <laughs> oh, thanks. It just happened to me. Oh, did it get all over you too? <laughs> yes. You launched this Prosecco line with your two sisters, with okay, Chloe yeah. and Cara. Yeah. We always, so Chloe, Cara and I, I mean, we've, since we were kids, we've always wanted to do, have a business together and have a brand together. And we didn't really know what. Yeah. Um, and then we had like a sort of brainstorming session. We were like, what were we really good at? Like, what is, what's our forte? <laughs> and we all looked at each other and we're like, Prosecco. Cause for as long as we can remember, I mean, obviously not when we were children, but as teenagers and in our twenties and, you know, Prosecco was just always a part of our lives. You know, it could be the happy moments, even the sad moments, a breakup, a celebration, big, small. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. It was just always on the table. Mm -hmm. So we thought, why don't we do our own. Oh. And that's how Della Vite was born. One of these wineries that we found in Valo Biadene, they were, you know, talking about how they wanted a Prosecco to be vegan. And we were like, well, we would love that because, you know, we want everyone to be able to enjoy Della Vite. I was reading a little bit about the fact that you made it less sweet by mm. fermenting for longer, which is so interesting. But the it's bubble beautiful. is a little softer mm -hmm. and a lot creamier than a usual Prosecco would taste. Pop, so what do you, That's what is your skincare routine? Recently from all the mask wearing, um, yeah. it's been a bit problematic. And uh, so I've been slightly switching up my skincare routine. I'm a huge fan of this brand called CeraVe. That's really helped with kind of being quite mm -hmm. dry and bumpy yeah. around the chin masky area. Uh -huh. um, but I also love La Roche-Posay. I also mm -hmm. love Skin SkinCeuticals. Mm -hmm. um, God, what else? Oh, Augustinus Beta, I'm probably saying that wrong. Do you want to do some makeup pop? Yes, please. If you want, we can do a little bit of um, bronzer and then we can go in with the um, foundation after. But I, I go under my eye a little bit. So I bring it up a little higher. So it's not your traditional like that. Ah, so I see. It feels okay. more like your skin could be potentially bronzy. Oh, I love that. So you even I mean? higher. Yes, yeah, so you bring it up a little higher. And then also you go over your eyelid, which is really nice to pop your blue. Yeah, it's good for the blue, right? Because yeah. I've got really dark blue eyes. So they're hard to see their blue. And when I use bronzer and coppery, yeah. and then it makes them pop a bit. And then also it's just about adding different type of color back in. So it doesn't look like it's all bronzy. So you add a pop of pink or something 
you know, just to, to open your complexion, you just brighten it. You look so well, Poppy. Oh, thanks, my love, as do you. I can't wait to go to a hairdresser instead of using tomato ketchup to get grease <laughs> in my hair. <laughs> I like to give myself a little bit of contour first, maybe the, do you have Which this? Have you got? Do you have the biscuit? One oh, biscuit? I have biscuit. Biscuit's okay. one of my favorites. Okay, so biscuit, you can, you know, really play around with sculpting your face a little. Am I going on cheekbone across or under cheekbone? Across? Under cheekbone. And basically then it's such a nice creamy formula. So it's really easy to just blend. So you can't really make a mistake. Yeah. Something else that I'm kind of a, um, a little bit obsessed with is doing my nose kind of. So I use, um, you know, just an eyeshadow brush or even yeah. your fingers. Look at that. Okay, that's better. And the fact that it's matte, it so it's, you know, it doesn't look like makeup. Ooh, oh uh, my. Goodness, I want to eat that. So you That's can not. use a little bit of, say, either the bright pink, the fuchsia, yeah. or if you wanted a little bit more of a mellow, just a pop of color on your cheeks so it doesn't look too monochromatic. You want to have a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to use the fuchsia. And do I stick this on cheekbone or below it? Just on the cheekbone. I yeah. feel like so often, especially in my 20s when I'd sort of do you know what I mean? You go to a bar or whatever and you're in bad light and you put makeup on and you walk out and someone takes you like, oh, and you were like, ah, what happened? I know. Since you have that palette, I was thinking yeah. it'd be really pretty to do a poppy red lip and then sometimes oh. you can see what else you need. Would love to do that. Do you have any really great beauty secrets that you've shared with one another from your mom or any Ooh. of the women in your family? that you remember? There were like little things that my grandmother used to always say. She used to use eight hour cream and she used to put it on her eyelashes at night. Oh. And then in the morning it would make her eyelashes, she'd say like longer and more lustrous. And then she'd put on the mascara and she'd get that instant kind of 60s eyelash. Ooh. Isn't that mad? I think Cara's always um, been really inspiring with her makeup. She's so adventurous and up for trying anything and experimental. She's always taught me just to be, to really go for it. Look at that lip. I'm going to use a little bit of nectar. Oh yeah. Good. I love this And you one. can just kind of like really soften everything and it makes everything feel more skin-like, like you just had a facial. And it's also another nice trick is to, you can put on your lid up under your foundation. So it just looks like your skin is super glowy from within and it doesn't look like you have sort of makeup on. Oh. Okay, so you have this one, right? That you oh, take so I got these guys. This is gonna be a good palette for you. So these are iPods. So if you wanna take uh, the pink one, this is, there's no silicone, there's no talc. And the really nice thing is, especially if you're into using your fingers, is yeah. there's no fallout because it's a cream to powder. It's like something in between cream and powder. I so agree. I just like for both of us, you know, just I'm going close to my lashes and up to my socket with the darker color. And then you can use the one in the gold pot as a little bit of um, an accent kind of shade. So you can add it sort of like just in the middle of your, your eyelid you know, just to pick up the light. And then we have this kind of highlighty shade that you can just, if you wanna just put in your tear duct. And that's easy to just add to anywhere you wanna like, you know, just bring a little bit more light and brightness. Poppy, I wanted to ask you, where can we find De La Vite? Okay, so at the moment, it's only exclusively um, on an e-com site called Reserve Bar. And it's that's clean, her. it's vegan. Delicious. Um, delicious. Oh, that's the most important thing is that it's delicious. delicious. On your heads. It's delicious. And <laughs> well, thank Poppy, you thank you so, so much for doing ah. that. And, ah. and I missed you and your energy. And I'm so excited for Della Vite. I'm going to stock up. Thank Bye, you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye.